Greetings Wolfpack, before we get into the video here I just want to say that it's going to be post commentary uh, because after I upgraded to Windows 10 I forgot to set which microphone my recording software should use so I ended up recording a whole video without any microphone audio. <sighs> but anyway, I hope you enjoy the video regardless. Six of us went down into the pit. Only one crawled out. I am Eris. The last. I have seen what the Hive call a god. Crota, son of Oryx. He took everything from me. He will turn his eyes to Earth. And only a true weapon of the light can stop his wrath. Now you must face what lurks in the dark below. Greetings Wolfpack and welcome to Destiny the Dark Below. So, as you can see, a lot of things have changed with our character. Um, so, and I derped up, so this post commentary, but... Uh, so I should be in a second showing you my inventory just to get you up to speed... Uh, on what what we're at. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm now light level 31. I can't quite remember where we were when we left off. Uh, and I have a mixture of rares, legendaries, and exotics. Um, as you can see at the minute, I do have the defender subclass uh, equipped because I was leveling that. Uh, but I switched back to the striker because, you know, that's what we were using for the whole series. So after a little bit of uh, inventory management there, uh, let's head on over to Eris Morn. Uh, she's the person who the Dark Below DLC uh, added. And we'll go pick up our quest uh, for the first Dark Below mission. Finally. So this purple bounty looking item here is the quest. And we should be picking this up any second now. Uh, basically we've got to go kill the Fist of Crota. Um, Kill Sardon, the Fist of Crota, before the Hive wake Crota's soul. Uh, yeah, so, I will guess I'll see you back in orbit, because I think when I recorded this, uh, I was talking about a whole bunch of random stuff here. Uh, so I'll just see you back in orbit now. Okay, so here we are in orbit. Now, what that quest does is it adds a mission onto the overworld map. Uh, as you can see, I'm selecting it here. And... What I ended up deciding to do is uh, I'm going to, I did it, I decided to uh, go with normal because I didn't see any benefits of doing it hard or on hard, should I say. Um, so yeah, uh, I end up doing like a random bit of talking here, so uh, I'll just uh, see you when we're in the mission. We went to the moon seeking vengeance, but it found us first. Crota, the son of Oryx. We'd never faced anything like him. In the end... Only I was left. Crota and his armies destroyed our moon. If we don't stop them, I fear Earth will suffer the same fate. Sardon commands the hive spawn on Earth. Search the grotto, find this monster, and see to his end. Okay, so around this time my phone went off because uh, I forgot to put it on silent. I am so out of practice with making videos, so uh, I was just in the middle of putting it on silent here. Uh, and any second now we should be actually be getting into the mission. Yep, here we go. Uh, it's been a while since I played some Destiny, but I have been enjoying playing it a lot lately. Um, man, Omnigul is loud. Um, so yeah, the auto rifle I'm using here is an exotic called the Soros Regime. Well, I believe it's called that, and it is such a beautiful auto rifle. Uh, I fell in love with it 
uh, after getting it and starting to use it. Um, and I, I, I can't remember what perks I'm currently using on it. I know I haven't fully leveled it yet, but I think I'm using the perk that uh, slows down your rate of fire when you're aimed in, or zoomed in, whatever you want to call it. When you're aiming down your sights, it slows down your rate of fire, but I think it gives you a damage boost. Uh, so that is really nice. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just mopping up all the vandals, dregs, and all sorts. Um, just switching between aiming down sights and rapid fire, I, I guess is a good way to put it. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not shooting Omnigul, uh, if you haven't played the Dark Below yet, it's, it's because uh, she disappears after a while. Because uh, we go fight her at a later point in time. So yeah, just mopping up all the enemies now. Um, I'm so bad with post commentary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so as you can see, I, I'm using the death from above uh, perk. I believe I go through my perks uh, in a short while. Uh, just so you can see what I'm going through, uh, or what I'm using, not what I'm going through. <laughs> what I'm going through is like a, a, a few hundred thralls and stuff. <laughs> so something happens in a second that made that made me jump uh, earlier when I record this. Um, so as you can see, a whole bunch of thralls spawn. Uh, I start taking out a few, uh, but as I get well, cursed thralls, should I say. As I got distracted by those, uh, like, regular thralls, and I started shooting these other cursed thralls. See that guy over on the left there? Uh, that guy there? He, he, uh, he made me jump. I, <laughs> I, I, ne I damn near had a heart attack. Because even when you're playing on normal, if one of those guys explodes in your face, uh, it's highly likely that you're going to die. So, I was like, I'm not going to die when I'm not in a darkness zone. You know, so, <laughs> I... I panicked, jumped away, and yeah. So continuing on with the mission, uh, I don't know why I got my rocket launcher out here. Maybe it was just to load it. Um, but I think here's the. Sardon is the first of Crota's disciples. His army helped shatter the moon and claim it for his master. His presence here is a sign. The hive are preparing to wake Crota's soul. See, I think around this point is when I uh, go into my perks, show you all my perks. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I'm using lightning grenade. Um, contr I think I increase control on the lift. Uh, death from above from a fist of havoc. Uh, what's that perk that I'm using on? Yeah, amplify. Uh, amplify on my storm fist. Uh, then I've got maximum. I think it's armor and well toughness and recovery. Uh, and then the other one's maximum recovery. But I've got transfusion as well, uh, which uh, you know it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and maximum battle recovery there, as I said, and shoulder charge. I really do like my shoulder charge because uh, when I'm playing with a striker, I'm like I just rush straight in and me melee things to to hell. Um, so what we're about to come to here used to be a like overworld event uh, up until the House of Wolves came out. Uh, basically, you kill the acolytes, a blade of Crota spawns. You kill the blade of Crota. Uh, I'm doing a piss poor job of hitting his head there. Um, once you kill the Blade of Crota, he drops uh, a sword, sort of like out of the uh, mission on the moon. I think it's called the Sword of Crota. And you can basically pick this up and run around and slice things up for a bit. Um, however, unlike the uh, Sword of Crota mission, after a, a certain amount of time, uh, the swords you get from the Blades of Crota uh, sort of like disintegrate in your hands. As you can see, it's starting to turn a little bit greenish. Um, see, it handles exactly like uh, the sword from the Sword of Crota, so it's very easy to use. You know, it's like riding a bike. Uh, I haven't got around to trying out the raid yet, yet and you meant to have like blade, uh, like sword bearers or something, so. As soon as I get around to trying out that, hopefully I'll be able to record it at the same time. Because uh, I believe what I what I want to do is, because I haven't got the Vault of Glass raid on my channel either, is I want to do the raids with I my subscribers. Keep 
your eyes open. See, as you saw there, the sword did disintegrate. But yeah, when it comes to the raids on this game, uh, because there's no matchmaking for them, I'd really like to do them with my subscribers. Uh, because I now have Destiny on both the Xbox One and the Xbox 360, uh, I think I have a problem there. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it'd be nice to uh, do it with some of my subscribers. Uh, so yeah, so there we go, Sardon the Fist of Crota has spawned and I completely forgot how to fight this guy and I get absolutely pulverized very quickly. Because <laughs> I have played through uh, both DLCs on a different character so I sort of knew what to expect but I completely forgot how to fight this guy. Uh, yeah. So here I am, I'm just running around now, I forgot that I have to get close to make him spawn first so I'm like, yeah, get, get close, make him spawn. And now it's just uh, going to be a bunch of running around and shooting him for a while, so I'm probably going to speed this bit up uh, in editing. Uh, I haven't sped it up just yet, just so I can get an idea of uh, what I want to do. Uh, I probably should have edited the video first and then uh, talked over it for post-commentary, but... Uh, <laughs> that's uh, the... You know, that's... Uh, Hindsight, it's a wonderful thing. Mind you, we are we are taking him down pretty quickly, so I may just may just uh, leave it at normal speed. Um, depends on how I feel after the fact. So I very nearly died again there. I very nearly died again. That was a. Uh, I was like, no, I'm not dying again. I've already died to you once, Sardon. It ain't happening again. Oh yeah. I should probably explain, that this uh, Dark Burden thing that I've uh, currently got, this debuff, uh, if you if you'd want to call it that, uh, it basically stops you from double jumping. So I can't use my lift uh, while I'm fighting this guy, so that's why it seems like I'm having uh, quite a bit of trouble, because uh, I can't really get out of the way or anything like that. Uh, well, effectively anyway. Um, I'm going to tell you something, having that transfusion and the shoulder charge was really helpful there, which, which I'm sorry, I wish I'm sure you saw me use that on a couple of those acolytes there when I was in a bit of spot of trouble. Uh, so yeah, just got to get a few more bullets into him, I, 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 yeah, but I meleeed him to finish him off. And that's it, the Fist of Crota is now dead. Um, I think what I've decided to now do is Sardon has fallen, come see wait for Eris to talk. <laughs> The rest of Crota's disciples will not cease until Earth is ready for their master's return. So I think what I've decided to do uh, with both uh, DLCs is like do a quest or a mission, an episode. Um, see, I'm just going from upgrades here while I wait for the mission to end. Uh, but yeah, so expect the next episode in a few days, uh, I guess. Um... So I'll see you back in the tower, uh, where I'll be uh, handing in all the all the things. Right, so here we are back in the tower after about ten minutes of loading screens. <laughs> uh, so I believe I hand in uh, this rare engram we got. Uh, well, hand it in, decode it rather. Uh, I was just like hoping for a legendary because I'm at that stage where like only legendaries are, are like better uh, than all my gear that I've got. Uh, so if it's not a legendary, I normally just uh, scrap it, uh, like you see me doing here. Uh, and now let's go hand in, like actually complete the quest by handing in the uh, quest bounty thing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I was just having a look at my things for upgrades. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Omnigal, you've defeated the Fist of Crota, but the threat remains. So we hand in that, and then we pick up the next quest, which is the Rise of Crota, or Siege of the Warmind, actually, uh, which is towards the Rise of Crota. Uh, whatever. I, I, I'm out of practice. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll be doing that quest next episode. Uh, so don't forget to check out my most recent channel update so you can see what we're going to be doing after, so you can decide what, we, what you want to see after we finish Destiny. But until next time, take care. Face your fears, and I'll see you when I see ya. Peace. 
Thank you ever so much for watching that video. I do hope you enjoyed it. But before you go away, I've got a few options for you. First off, if you enjoyed the video, you can head below and hit that like button as that'll help me out tremendously. Then, if you haven't already done so, you can click my face right now to subscribe and stay updated with all of my future content. Now, I know it happens, so if you did miss the last episode, you can just click that image over there on my right, and you'll be taken right to it and you can get yourself all caught up nice and quick. Alternatively, if you've missed more than one episode, you can click the image over there on my left to be taken to the playlist for the whole entire series and get yourself up to date in no time at all. Also, don't forget to check the description below for all those helpful handy links such as my Twitch, Twitter, player.me, etc. And I'll see you when I see ya. Peace.